quality and yield across the vineyard is highly dependent on uniformity. As blocks are harvested at one point, all the grapes need to mature evenly, and this is dictated in large part by the uniform application of irrigation water across the block. Many vineyards in Australia and New Zealand were planted in the 1990s, and therefore irrigation systems are 15 to 25 years old. These systems may not be performing as they should to ensure the production of optimum yielding, high quality crops. We will show you how to assess the flow variation of the irrigation system in the vineyard block and measures you can take to improve the uniformity. It is good if you have an irrigation design to work from. Check what the valve pressure should be according to the design. In this situation, it is 18 metres or 180 kPa. As we can see, this valve is running at the correct pressure. If it wasn't, we could adjust the pilot to increase or reduce the operating pressure. Next, we check the emitter flow. We do this at three points along four laterals through the block. This will give us 12 readings. Measure how many millilitres are emitted in 36 seconds. Multiply this by 100 and convert to litres to get a litre per hour figure. Do the same with the pressure in the lateral. A good tool for this is the pitot tube, which fits to the end of your pressure gauge and can take the pressure at the emitter. The emitter will operate at the nominal flow rates within a certain pressure window. Check the technical sheet of the particular emitter you have and make sure you are within this window. Take the average of each lateral to get four figures for flow and four figures for pressure. We then assess the variation through this formula. It's easiest to do this on a spreadsheet. As we can see in this case, the variation of flow is 4.17%. This is a very good result. 10% flow variation, or plus or minus 5% of the nominal flow rate, is considered acceptable for vineyards. If the variation is more than this, some maintenance may be able to improve the uniformity. First, all laterals must be flushed completely. If there is algae buildup, you may need to inject some chlorine as a sanitising agent. If there is an inorganic chemical buildup or blockage, acid may be used to lower the water's pH and clean the dripper. Details on applying these sanitising agents can be found in the Netafim Preventative Maintenance Manual. This can be downloaded from the Netafim website. In cases where the uniformity is not improving and the system is over 10 years old, retrofit of new drip line may need to be considered. Contact Netafim or your local irrigation dealer to discuss options.